Hey, this is Sofi from LickinRiff.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you a fingerstyle arrangement I've made of a piano exercise that even people who don't play piano know how to play. Um, it's on the black keys, and um, I actually don't, I, I can't seem to find the name of this tune, so I'm going to play it for you, and if you know the name of this tune, please let me know. I've checked with every piano teacher and piano player I know, they all know this piece, um, but nobody knows what it's called. So I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to teach you how to play it. Um, it's very tricky on the guitar, it's very very easy on the piano because it's only um, on the black keys but on the guitar it's a bit tricky so it's a great exercise for the guitar as well. So um, it goes like this. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure you know this by now, um, and if you don't, well, welcome, it's a great tune. Um, so it's got a low part and a high part. Now this is in um, F sharp, um, so it begins with um, pull off from 4 to 2 on the second string, okay? and then you need to play four on the D string okay and then you play two on the E string along with three on the G string okay this is your first chord it's F sharp okay it's F sharp you play this twice so, um, well, I, um, I advise that you don't play a complete F sharp chord, you just put these two fingers on um, to make it a solo, okay? And then you play this once, and then the bass goes from 4 to 1 on the D string, okay, and the 2 and 3 remain 2 and 3 on the E and G strings, so it's 4, 1, and then using your pinky you play 4 on the A string, and using your first finger you play 1 on the E string and 0 on the B string. Okay? It's actually C sharp 7. Okay? But I just like the way the open the open B7 the, the open B string sounds. Okay? Instead of And it's also a smoother transition um, into this fingering. Instead of a jump, okay. Um, the rule is uh, the rule for th smooth transitions is if you don't need to move, if you can perform a chord where you are, then do it, okay. Then do the chord where you're at. Um, instead of moving around on the neck, because when you move around, there's no note playing. And um, this is smoother than because then we have to leave this note and have a silent moment before we play this bass. While we play, well, when we play this, it's smooth. Okay, it's one note into another. So um, we were here. play the pull off into C sharp 7 twice 
and then <coughs> we go up in the bass line instead of down we go back to where we were four and then one on the D string with the C7 still playing one and zero on E and B and then back to C sharp uh, to F sharp okay got it four on the A one on the D four on the D string uh, when we're back to F sharp okay so this is the first part so it's this Now we take this 4 to 2 on the B string, we take it to 8 to 6 on the G string. Okay, it's the same notes. So 8 to 6 on the G string, and then it's this. It's again, it's F sharp, this time um, here. Uh, C shaped uh, with its bass, its alleged bass, on uh, 9 on the A string. But we don't, uh, we don't use this bass, so we use this as our starting note. So um, it's 6 on the E string, and then it's 7 on the B string, and 8 on the D string. Okay? So... And you can bar after you play this. So you don't have to jump. Um, you just bar. Okay? And then uh, you play this twice, of course, and then um, we go up uh, instead of in bass notes, we go up in uh, high notes. So. Again, it's 6, and then it's 9, you can play it with your pinky, so you don't have to move. Okay, 6, 9, and then you take your pinky to 11, and then you play this. Okay, this is C sharp, 7, again, it's this. It's so... Okay, uh, so it's 11 on the E string, and with your first and second fingers, you play a tritone. You play, um, you play nine on the D string and ten on the G string. Okay, and then you guessed it. You play this. You play the eight to six, and then the C. Um, C sharp nine, the C sharp nine, uh, the C sharp seven, um, with the high A flat note. Okay, so second time, and then you descend back. So it's eleven nine. You can bar. Okay, eleven bar nine, and then. Six with the F sharp again, and then it's just uh, a run of the bass notes. It's um, it's F sharp, F sharp with uh, E flat on the bass, C uh, C sharp nine, C sharp seven. Okay, so it's then up. Okay, so it's 4-1-4 four, four on the A string, and then 4-1-4 four, four on the D string. Um, and then the same with the high notes. 6, 9, 11, 11, 9, 
bar, 11, 9, 6, back to F sharp, okay? When you're at 11, you change into C, um, C sharp 7, and when you're back at 6, you play the F sharp. So um, that's basically it, let's play it from the top slowly. getting this under your fingers subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you can go to the website and download the tab and while you're there if you want to give something back for this lesson or for any other lesson or for all the lessons there's a donation button and I'd be very very grateful for any donation whatsoever any donation you cheese to you, you cheese any donation you cheese to give if you want to give cheese then give cheese um, if, uh, if you want to um, donate some money then you should go ahead um, so thank you in advance for any donation of cheese you want to make um, so go get this under your fingers practice this this is a very very nice tune um, and you can really surprise some people by playing this on the guitar because uh, as far as I know uh, nobody was insane enough to go and make a guitar transcription of this so here you go um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching.